Elizabeth Sobek so is that our mother or probably it's just in like far Anchester <gasps> okay that's pretty amazing literally 350,000 that's hundreds of years ago what's going on oh i see no good go down darling go down <sighs> So we d still don't know like how the people on earth died or if this is even ours we don't know the machines but they got out of control sounds bad i mean yeah we kind of figured that probably like or like it's kind of obvious that kind of obvious thing is that like they created the machines and it got out of control and the machines like killed the humans the quest the question is why like are there still humans living then and like why like basically the machines like are wild animals basically outside so you would think that they were wouldn't have been able to kill oh my god i thought there was someone standing i was a little bit scared so yeah like the machines we are meeting up with it doesn't look like they're like acting to destroy humankind like they're just wild animals like wild animals what do we have here? Oh, what's that? Stand. Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved Ooh. today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Faro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Faro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Faro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and do you want to read it? Okay. Reception lock, lock Julie 7, 2064. So yeah, we are far in the future from our world. Fleet Commandant Dang of the Indo-Malay Agricultural Combine arrived with his delegation. Refreshments to be served before their 10.15 a.m. sales presentation on the carrier line. Per instructions, food will be vegetarian only. It remembers you of Aperture? What's Aperture? I think I don't know Aperture. Let me Google it. You mean, do you mean the Apple support? Oh, 
Oh, the company and Portal 2. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, like it. Okay, like it, it kind of remembers, like it, it's kind of similar to many science fiction movies, right? But the interesting part here is like from another perspective, right? Like we're, we're playing like thousands of years later. Always surprising. Feral automated solutions for every problem of life. And everything is already gone. So they made the focus. 25,000 people. That's bigger than a tribe. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. All right. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Okay. Oh, the biography of Elizabeth Sobeck. Elizabeth Sobeck, born March 11, 2020, is an American scientist, roboticist, and engineer, widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford University. So it is flying on Earth, I guess, at age 13, earning a BS in experimental physics and computer science at age of 16. She completed her PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at Carnegie Mellon University in 2014 and joined Faro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist the same year rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22. Over the next eight years, Sir Green Robert Designs played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade, propelling FAS to the forefront of its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAS, protesting the company's pirate to automate military technologies. In 2049, she found Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life-positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since become one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Corson Award for Environmental Progress. Okay, so, she, so basically um, FIS started building robots for military use, um, and that's probably the start of the problem, but she like decided not to stay with them and founded her own company and did some good shit. Ted Farrow, born December 24, 2013, oh, that's not to, like, that's an hour past, is an American entrepreneur and business magnate. He's the founder of Ferro Automated Solutions, the largest corporation of all time. <laughs> the world's wealthiest individual and the first ever trillionaire. Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah. He enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he studied business for two years before dropping out in 2033 to start FAS. Though it, though it struggled at first, the company broke through at the end of the travel 2030s with its popular lines of personal servitors and bodyguard bots. Then exploded when its famous line of green robots led... What's, what exactly are green robots? I thought it was just robots that do good stuff. Led the race to solve the climate crisis during the 2040s clawback. At the end of that decade, FAS opened a military defense branch dominating the world market for automated military platforms by 2053. The success of FAS has made Mr. Farrow the world's best known businessman, one of its most sought after speakers and a major voice in politics, culture and international affairs. All right, what else do we have here? Definition corporation. <laughs> That's cute, that's just because she doesn't know the word. Okay, the reception log. Food will do vegetarian only. Senna Agnew, Vice President of Territorial Integrity from Fresh Grounds Coffee Global arrived with his entourage. Entourage? Refreshments to be served before their 10.30 a.m. sales presentation on the carrier line 
per instructions we'll use fresh grounds tacoma blend, no artificial creamers. Ooh, so that happened. Called security and janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Actually more like thrown. I wasn't aware that the Indo-Malay combined gross coffee beans. And that Fresh Grounds acquisition team has tried to take their fields by force repeatedly. I think Commandant Dying had Agnew buy the hair for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm going to drop a line to sales so this can't happen again. Wow. Just about coffee. Oh, what's this one, by the way? Oh, that's what we heard. Okay. They're not going back up, right? No. We weren't here. Even old death. No smell to it. I don't know, it looks pretty dusty. Well, okay then. But I could get through. Am I too blind? Wait, what? Okay, it seems I did go through. It didn't look that way. Oh my <gasps> god! Oh my god, don't scare me like that! Game, please! Actually, it tells me to go up. Okay, here's the ladder. Ah, I was down there. Okay, I see. Um, oh, I think, oh, <laughs> fuck. Well, I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Yeah, I wanted to, like, I wanted to jump that yellow thing there. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's so nice. I can just walk back up here. Okay. All right, Lighty. Have a good rest. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, okay, I can just jump here. Oh, nice. Some shit like lay laying, lying around in an old company. Makes totally sense. Can I jump? No, over there is nothing. Come on, darling. I like. It looks like she would be able to grab this. Maybe not. Oh, she is. God damn it. I shall work there, but I want to see what's over here. Especially because here's something to loot. That's of course very important. Oh, and here's something to listen to or to read. We don't know yet. FAS Campus Lock. High priority alert. Oh, okay, it's security lock. Automated lock note. All non-essential systems have entered hibernation. Automated lock note. Full lockdown has been initiated. High priority alert. Due to the increasing frequency of violent protests targeting the campus, the security of FAS employees can no longer be guaranteed. Therefore, we have taken the difficult decision to shutter this facility indefinitely. Staff will be briefed on a block-by-block -block basis regarding pro procedure for achieving and or disposal of project-related data and materials. 
HiSec and the crisis team will then conduct exit review before all areas are locked down. High priority alert. Um, I I'm not gonna read that again, like, I'm just gonna read the blocks. Priority messaging to all staff in E and F blocks. Treat the current lockdown situation as an exercise, but do not attempt to release the hatches or otherwise exit the buildings. A reminder that while HighSec personnel remain committed to employee safety during the current unfortunate events, personal firearms must be relinquished when presenting for identity scan. Additional public access roads en route to the campus have now been closed to relieve waiting time at the outer security cordons. HiSec reminds all, all staff that the campus remains off limits to the public. Following recent campus security issues, all staff are reminded that presenting for a dentist scan and displaying your security badge prominently at all times for image analytics are both mandatory. In light of recent acts of terrorism directed at the rapid transit system, HiSec now offers a Big Brother initiative to accompany staff traveling from off-site. Sign-up is required and strongly encouraged. 48 more entries, additional entries corrupted. All right. So, it, yeah. I mean, it's quite surprising how well she understands all of it, right? Like, there's so many words she shouldn't be able to understand. All right. From Ted Faro to Paula Rosera, spiritual summit. Paula, recent events have sharpened my perspective and I think that I and FAS in general have been neglecting the spiritual side of things. Not under any specific religious framework, of course, but in a more general sense, as in not giving enough thought to our shared values, hopes and aspiration for the afterlife. I would like you to reach out to the religious leaders of every stripe with the intention of scheduling a con conference soon, very soon. I will have more thoughts about the agenda later. But for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent, no cooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go deluxe, deluxe. make it clear we will spare no expense. Thanks, Ted. What does it mean? Like, he doesn't mean it in a religious way, but he wants to meet with all the religious guys. Talking about some shit about, like, afterlife. Looks like the way up. What's left of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was an elevator here, right? I just wondered, like, why would they have ladders but probably he would like this was the elevator shaft all right let's go another long way up frozen metal most of the way not making this easy dr sobek if plants can find a way to What's hang out here i guess i can too All right, then let's check the right side there first. What's over here? I'm confused. So my aim is to So my aim is to get over there after all. I don't know which one's the optional way, basically. Uh. Quite confusing. I wanted to take the optional path to get some, like to look if there's some extra loot. Oh, and something else. Ooh, that's offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Timor Energy Combine. 
Sorry about the USB sound. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting to borrow. Resource uh, to borrow, my main. Nice to hear. Good morning. To this issue. Long time so to when see. You hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come. <laughs> good night. Are you going to sleep? And the day's coming when none of this will And have a good rest, mate. Thank you for saying hi. That's what they call their machines. They were built for war, not peace. It's it's going good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem to borrow. I'm 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 happy you say hi. Tune in whenever you want to and have time. It's fine. Nice. Yeah, we're like at a pretty interesting story part right now. The like uh, we've learned a little bit about the lore. We're at like the ruins of the uh, of the biggest corporation there was in the past. Um, discovering some ancient technology, and it seems like they've like at the start they built like just built like just bots, nice little robotic bots. But then they started like building um, robots for military use and it seems that went somehow out of control but we don't know the details yet like how it actually went out of control Wait, was it okay? Loot. I'm not gonna complain. We found some loot. Okay, over here. Again, the elevator shaft. Where do I have to go? Over there? Or do I have to go even further up? It definitely goes further up. I wanna check what's up there before we continue. Um, to the left actually is... But we can't reach that. Oh, we can reach it, okay. I know this, like, maybe we have to go here after we did what's downside anyways. I just want to check if here's some extra loot. Uh, actually, this might be the place where we go after we discovered what's down there. Alright, let's see what's what it says. The Banda Sea incident. This looks important. I got the same hair look of that girl. <laughs> nice! Dreadlocks. That's lots of works, like having dreadlocks. Bob, another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently a fisherman in the Banda Sea captured video of our heart's timer horrors until refueling via biometer conversion along the shoreline of Pulau Wetter. On a pot of endangered dolphins, no less, quite possibly, the last of the kind. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happens inside a blender as if the robot was whipping up a big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin chum. Our suppression team has scrapped it from 43 networks, but it's still propagating, so it's only a matter of time before it goes viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real stinker. Ooh. So that's basically the first sign of um, the robots not uh, working as intended. All right, let's go down. Wait a minute. We came up here, right? Yeah, 
Looty looty. Man. This is really cheap loot, by the way. Oh, it says we should go here. The way up. All it takes is oh, so I had to go this way. I'm so confused. All right. Okay. So actually, I missed on something. Ooh, what's that? I can go even further. More looty looty. Like, there's like wood in those chests. Like, it's quite a ridiculous. Oh my god, where, where are we going? I don't want to fall down. Like, if I fall down... We have to climb this whole fucking tower again. All right. Some kind of power Ooh. Cell. I wonder what it's for. Ancient armory. Find a use for the power cell. Cell an ancient suit of armor lies in a rune of the old ones, visible but out of reach. Visible but out of reach. Okay. What was that? Oh my god, I thought I missed it. <laughs> I was kind of scared here. Though the game is really nice when it comes down to climbing. Like, there's a small room for failure. Let's put it that way. But even with small room for failure, I will still manage to fail. This game looks awesome. Yeah, it does. It does. Great music, great graphics, cool story so far. Ooh, alpha privilege. Oh yes, I believe I do. The phone has been recovered. Hmm, there's a data point. Okay. Oh. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. She's I like our Ancestor. Brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up to something big or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch. Chariot line. You're killing robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Uh -oh. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. They're killing dolphins! <laughs> Show me the data then. And we'll take that lunch alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Ooh. Nice that the machine is waiting for us. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad. Ted, it's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufactured, <laughs> controlled. Not anymore. 
The glitch-severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? Yes, did you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? But it has been... It's not contained. It can't it's not husbands and wife. You know what I mean? Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Are we gonna get another file? Oh, the, the quest says, watch the hologram. Oh, you can't see, by the way, it's behind oh, my... Um, actually, I kind of like, let me disable the chat. Them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. A final file. A final file. Okay, it, it already knows that it can't recover more. Smart machine. If there were a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. So what is it? That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. It's probably it's some kind of arc, like some kind of... Sign. And I will make sure they and survival on this planet knows the real cause thing of the glitch. so humankind Jesus isn't does. doesn't yeah, like does get ex extinction extinction I'll I don't know it. the word actually I'm sorry look on the bright side Ted from here on out you get to do what you've always been a bunker about. yeah maybe or an arc like a ship you know something like that like Typical uh, cipher stuff. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? The thing is like Executive Access Detection. Express Lift. Oh Lol. So I do wonder, um like the thing is all right, the robots went crazy out of control and stuff and they were able to rep replicate themselves. But yeah, the question is why Why are humans alive? Like, the thing is like, of course, this is a new culture like that has like Living for thousands of years, lived for, living, lived for thousands of years now So that's pretty obvious but I do wonder, um, like the the machines aren't really that dangerous, right? Like there are cities out there. The machines aren't trying to extinct humankind, so there's still something missing. Like it seems like the machines aren't as dangerous as they used to be. <laughs> that remote is so fitting. This, this doesn't yeah. Happen. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived exactly. ages ago. Exactly. It's just an ancestor. All this searching and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Ew. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. 
happen in minutes. You uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know <laughs> is my name. Sirens, that's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. Okay, let, let's be considerate here. All right, silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Selbeck. And I have, but I see. Damn, she's here in Chester. Come on, it's not that difficult. <laughs> or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your flame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subek. But what is that connection? <laughs> she couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. <laughs> The only way to find Face out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it. <laughs> now that we're wasting his time? After we've discovered everything for him he couldn't discover by himself before, now we're wasting his time. So far as I can tell, the time machine. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But I think that would be too cute. I think Who she's dead. Like. I don't know. The eclipse described him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. Thing. Can I like pause it? Yeah, I can. Okay, so one thing I want to mention here for those who don't know the story, like Eloy was found in front of an ancient machine as a baby. So uh, basically, there's no sign of any parents. Uh, that's also like the important part of the story. That's why she thought Elizabeth Thobeck would be her mother when she saw her on some of those uh, data points um yeah because basically like she was like found as a baby in front of ancient technology so we don't know where eloy comes from and who her parents are maybe actually elizabeth savick is still her mother and like maybe like i mean theoretically the project could have like i don't know put babies into some sort of cryostasis like let them sleep for thousands of years what about the other people where do they come from we don't know that like we only know like we know this is multiple thousands of years in the future and um like we know humankind has kind of built a new culture and the the tribes that live right now on Earth, they are afraid of the ancient technology. It seems like none of the old story really, none of the history of humankind has been like prevailed. So we only know like we have like some new culture on Earth, which is like more of a like the culture's development is like middle-aged right it's not just like there are they don't use much of technology like there's ancient technology all over earth but like the the humans are afraid of it mostly they mostly don't use it they stay away from ruins and ancient technology and we so we don't actually know how like the transition from the 
very far developed human uh, society to this kind of society that is like not that far developed how that happened it seems like they just developed like separated from the old society because like no one knows actually the story and knows where the ancient technology comes from and like people don't know anything about the old society so far now Eloy is making this these discoveries and the reason she's able to make these discoveries is because the ancient technology recognizes her as Elizabeth Sovic. So she gets access to data which other people don't have to. Like so she that's the reason she's able to like uh, see all this data and get insight on the history. Homo sapiens party. <laughs> But yeah, so she could still be the daughter, like if somehow she was sent into the future or she was like sleeping in cryostasis. <laughs> I made that focus explode. That was Hades. It didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. A terrible voice. All that suited him. And we also know now why, like, like she was attacked at the proving. She was like attacked now multiple times. Like people want her dead, and now we know why. It's probably because she has access to this data, because she has the genetics of uh, Elizabeth Sovak and can like probably access some ancient technology that the this like evil cult with the leader of Hades doesn't want her to have and we don't know yet if Hades is a machine or a human we don't know that probably a machine Elizabeth has to be Hades is using the eclipse to resurrect feral robots but if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago if she made special weapons maybe Hades exactly is like same thing. in some of the ancient data I've recovered there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no, I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus. Exactly. While I risk everything. Don't tell me I'm wasting All I time. Have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining. And answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. Um, fine. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the old ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the corruptors and deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged and full power. Exactly, that's what's my point. Like the machines out there, like aren't aren't like basically strong enough to like the the machines we've met so far outside. Like they aren't strong enough to extinct humankind, especially not like the the society that was uh, like that far developed i mean we can find them with our arrows and spears who are you silens and what are your intentions you really need to make this <laughs> i'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago an explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Life Some extension of the techniques. Recovered includes mentions of life for thousands of years. Pharmaceuticals. We know that we know that one meeting for the meeting for her was like 
three hundred thousands over three hundred thousands of years ago. But some were still trying to perfect ways of food. Yeah, like that's what I thought. Cryostasis. Maybe Eloy was in cryostasis as a baby. Are you saying around the frozen people? And maybe Elizabeth Sobek also is in cryostasis somewhere. But they were probably okay. cryogen. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. So maybe we, we will at some point make some, like, that would be really cool, like, if the story, like, though it would probably, like, really close to the end, but, like, at some point that we find, like, these cryostasis chambers, maybe, and, like, are able to wake up people from the old, um, far-developed far society. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate even over vast distances. What if he's how do you lying? Learn to do that? Years of yeah, we don't know. Experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other eclipses focuses too. Usually. And it's a complete to resurrect Hades, maybe. I mean, actually, like, I, I thought that too. Because, like, Eloy said Hades didn't sound like a human, but he didn't sound like a machine too, more like a phantom. So it's kind of like Hades, like, isn't in a physical form yet right so yeah maybe maybe Hades is I think Hades is the big evil AI behind the machines but like why would they have to resurrect him like it's an AI right like I don't know yeah like okay you can give him a, a, a strong technical body I guess but why like but yeah it seems like Hades is like the 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 evil AI behind the machines and he's probably not at his full power and the interesting thing though is that the cult like the cult that serves Hades that are humans so the AI has somehow influenced humans to to like become a cult and and serve him so probably to I mean probably he wants to bring back like the machines on their old to their old power level Slap him to to see what he says. I can't. He's just a hologram. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called the U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asuram call it Graveford. Graveford. Cherry name. You'll find it in the eastern mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil or a. BOR7 Horus Wrecker, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners are better than improved. 